More than 20 years after her untimely death, there are still so many things we don't know. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 5 hidden secrets about Princess Diana. You're currently concentrating very much on your charity work. Would you like to tell us why you feel it's so important to you? I got nothing else to do. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at little-known pieces of information about the People's Princess. I was very excited. They wanted a fairy princess and come and touch them and everything would turn into gold, and all their worries would be forgotten. Until did they realize that the, that the individual was crucifying herself in his eyes. She didn't know she was going up. Number five. She recorded her thoughts. I just absolutely thought I was the luckiest girl in the world and you know, he was going to look after me. Well, was I wrong on that assumption? Much of the information we'll be sharing today was uncovered because Princess Diana actually recorded her thoughts on audio tape during her time in the spotlight. As things began to turn sour between her and Charles, she wanted to make sure that her side of the story could someday be heard. And this ridiculous ITN man said, are you in love? So I thought, what a thick question. So I said, yes, of course we are, in the sort of fat, slow and ranger that I was. And Charles turned around and said, what in ever in love means? And that threw me completely. The tapes were eventually given to a journalist, Andrew Morton, who published a biography of Diana which included content from the tapes several years before her death. In 2017, National Geographic produced Diana in her own words, which takes an even deeper dive into the content of the tapes and reveals never-before-heard content. So I said, Camilla gave you those, didn't he? He said, yes, so what's wrong? The present from a friend. And boy, did we have a row. Jealousy. Total. Jealousy. Number four, she and Charles shared some lineage. One of the biggest misconceptions about Diana, Princess of Wales, was that she was a girl next door type, a commoner, for lack of a better word, marrying into the royal family. In fact, nothing could be further from the truth. Diana already held the title of lady before her marriage to Charles, and the Spencer family from which she came has a long history of being a part of the English aristocracy. And perhaps most interesting, Diana and Charles were actually distantly related. They were 16th cousins once removed, which, to be fair, isn't really saying much. Number three, she was miserable on her wedding day. I felt as though I was a, a lamb to the slaughter, and I knew it when I couldn't any about it. Diana and Charles's royal wedding was called the wedding of the century and garnered substantial media attention around the world. While many were likely jealous of this newly minted princess, for Diana, the entire affair was a nightmare. In the documentary, Diana in her own words, it is revealed that Diana called her wedding day, quote, the worst day of my life, and until the final moments, was having huge regrets about her marriage. But as her sisters said, her face was already on the tea towel, so it was too late to back out. It just goes to show that all that glitters is not gold. I said, I can't marry him. I can't do this. This is absolutely unbelievable. And they were wonderful and said, well, bad luck, Dutch. Your face is on the tea towel, so you're too late to chicken ass. Number two, she was candid about her sex life. In the same audio tapes, Diana opened up about her sex life with Charles. She called it, quote, odd, and said that sex between the two of them was quite rare. Their wedding night was to be their first intimate night together. Diana said only that it was strange, very strange. She makes it clear that even relatively early on in their relationship, their levels of intimacy were not what she considered to be normal. Powerless and bitterly jealous of Camilla, especially after Charles apparently stopped sleeping with his wife altogether after their 1987 royal trip to Portugal. Shop closed up very quickly after Portugal. She said that in the final years of their marriage, Charles would consistently want to have sex once every three weeks, which, she noted, was also the frequency at which he used to see his mistress, Camilla. By then I knew he'd gone back to his lady, but somehow we managed to have her. Number one, she suffered from mental illness. Many people know that Princess Diana dealt with eating disorders, specifically bulimia, throughout her life. But she also suffered from depression and actually tried to take her own life. I was very ill. We were trying to hide that from everybody. I had to come down for treatment because I was so depressed and I was trying to cut my wrist with razor blades. In reference to her bulimia, Diana attributed the beginnings of her disorder to a comment Charles made where he referred to her as, quote, a bit chubby. Bulimia started the week after we got engaged. My husband put his hand on my 
waistline and said, oh, a bit chubby here, aren't we? And that triggered off something in me. All of this was revealed in the audio tapes, but Diana had also addressed her experience with mental illness in a BBC Panorama interview in 1995. Though she may have always kept a put-together appearance, clearly underneath the surface, she was facing struggles no one could have imagined. Anything I could find, I would gobble up and be sick two minutes later. Very tired, one minute one would be happy, the next minute one would be blubbing one's eyes out. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.